Hi guys! This video is for everyone who's in the mood for a really dark, seductive makeup. It will be a perfect addition to your goth, vampire or Morticia Adams look. Start from applying your lightest foundation. You want your skin to look pale, but keep in mind that your face and the rest of your body should still act like a teen. So the color of your face shouldn't be significantly lighter than the color of the rest of your body. Unless you plan to cover it up. I'll set my foundation with a loose powder to get that nice matte finishing. Next, let's move on to the eyebrows. In case of a dark makeup, well-defined eyebrows are a must. So using brow shadows or a pencil, fill them in to enhance their natural shape. I like to make mine appear a little bit wider than what they really are, so I trace them slightly beyond their natural contours. The eye makeup will last much longer if you start from priming your lids. The easiest way to achieve the dark, intense look is to start from lining your eyes with a black eye pencil. I'll trace my upper and lower lash lines, creating a small win in the outer corner. I'll fill in the waterline as well. Your line doesn't need to be neither tidy nor precise, because the next thing we're going to do is blend it out with a Q-tip. The goal is to get rid of all the sharp edges and spread the color all over the lid below the crease. Now we can add some color. The choice is all yours. A plain red would be totally cool, but since I wanted something slightly more flattering, I've chosen to mix a bright red with a dark purple to get a beautiful shade that really brings out my eye color. I firstly apply it over the lid and onto the crease and then blend it out. Today I decided to stick to reds, but you could also try out a blue or a green version of this makeup. An iridescent metallic color would look very interesting. If you prefer softer makeup, you could now finish off this look with a mascara. But I'll go on and line my upper and lower lash lines for graphic and intensely defined eyes. I'll extend the line in the outer corner to create a win. This line is an imaginary continuation of the lower lash line. To create dark red ombre lips, I'll start from lining them with a black pencil. I'll fill the outer surface of my lips and blend it inward using a Q-tip. Then I'll intensify the contours once again and smudge them to create a gradient. Now I can apply my red lipstick all over. It will be brighter in the center and darker toward the edges, since black will be showing through. This is a matte version of this look, and if you wish you can transform it into a glossy one, adding either transparent or dark lip gloss. I will apply mine along the edges and then press my lips together to spread the color inward. Fake blood dripping from your mouth is that little extra you can do to appear even more authentic as a flesh-eating vampire. 
And there you have it! That's what this makeup looks like with different eye colors. So what's yours? Thanks for watching and I see you in my next video. I upload new videos every Thursday and every Sunday. Bye!